So today on Food for the Soul, I will be showing you how to make some homemade baked macaroni and cheese with bacon pieces infused with it. This is a great recipe. It's easy, it's simple. I know the holiday is coming around. So if you wanna try something like this, hey, hey, give it a shot. But if you like content like this, please like, subscribe, hit that bell and leave me a comment. Hey, and do not forget to read that Bible verse at the bottom of the description to feed that soul. So let's get ready and start this video and do all this goodness and all this deliciousness. Now, these are all the basic ingredients that you need for this recipe is bacon pieces, some elbow macaroni, uh, your choice of cheese, and this is my cheese, the uh, Kobe Jack blend, the mild cheddar, and I also got my, uh, my uh, creamy cheese right here, plus uh, salt and pepper to taste. So I'm also gonna be using the bacon fat uh, from my uh, bacon and my milk. So let's get this video started. All right, this is my water right here and it got salt in it. I'm gonna pour a little bit of bacon fat in here too. So I'm gonna do that to stop my pasta from sticking. And I'll just mix everything up. My pasta's on, time to uh, get my cheese started. See, okay, the best way to do your cheese is, it's okay to get the shredded cheese. Uh, there's nothing wrong uh, with that. But I find out the cheese will melt better uh, when it's in a block like this. All right, time for my Kobe Jack. See, okay, the first thing I do for my uh, cheese sauce is Pour some milk down here. I'm gonna start off with about a three-fourth cup. Then I'm gonna add my cheese right here. This is uh, my cream cheese right here. So, see on videos, you see uh, cooks uh, making a roux uh, for the cheese sauce. You don't need no roux uh, with no flour with this basically. So this is gonna be an easy, simple way to do it. Milk, cheese, and seasonings. All right, gonna let this right here uh, melt down first. All right, my cheese is almost melted and it's looking good. Next is, I'm gonna get my uh, shredded cheese. So I'm also gonna save some to uh, put put on top of my baked mac and cheese. My baked mac and cheese with bacon. And this is gonna help your sauce, your cheese sauce right here get thick. All right, gonna add your little salt to it. And do your salt and your pepper by taste. You always can add in salt, but you can't take it out. Let that get through uh, doing this thing. And, uh, this is my pasta. And see how it looks, uh, see how that looks? That's the way you want it. Uh, you don't want it all the way cooked, uh, swollen up uh, real big because it is gonna bake in the oven. So this is gonna be the perfect temp right here. All right, I see, okay, my cheese done melted. Boy, look at that. Looks so good. Now I'm gonna infuse uh, some of this bacon grease in uh, with it. That's to give it more of that bacon taste. Cut down my eye, because you don't wanna burn the cheese. But then add this good, delicious bacon to it. All right, now what I do is I just pour all this goodness and all this deliciousness together. 
I just mix everything up. All righty, now it's time to add my mac and cheese to a uh, baking pan. And when you do it, make sure you get out all your good bacon pieces. See, okay, next is, next is you add some cheese to the top of it and get the rest of your bacon pieces and just sprinkle it all over it. You let this back in the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. And I come back and show you the finished product. And there you go, homemade baked macaroni and cheese with bacon in it. Man, this smells so good and it looks so good. Check that out, boy. See that good cheese on top of the milk and like that? Mm, 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 mm. This stuff is cheesy, but it's hot. So when you do it, let it set, set about 15 minutes and let everything just incorporate together. But if you like content like this, please like, subscribe, hit that bell, leave me a comment. And don't forget to read that Bible verse at the bottom of the description to feed that soul, baby. So see you next time on Food for the Soul. Booyah!